Hi, I'm Blake with New Canoe. We have an anchor trolley installed on this Frontier and I'm going to show you how to install it and then how it can be used. It's a very simple installation. There's only four parts. First is a deck ring that's installed 10 inches forward of the point of the transom. The top of the deck ring should be about a quarter inch beneath the top of the gunnel. Next up is a pad eye. This is installed with two self-tapping screws. Again, it's about a quarter inch from the top of the gunnel and it's directly opposite the deck ring that comes installed on the frontier. The second pad eye is up here on the bow side, again about a quarter inch beneath the top of the gunnel and directly opposite from the deck ring that's on the inside. And in the bow we have one more deck ring and that's 12 inches from the point of the bow and again a quarter inch from the top of the gunnel and that's installed via a rivet again. When the hardware is installed, one end of the rope is fed through the deck ring, through the pad eye, and back through the other deck ring. That's then tied on to a clip that snaps right on to the uh, two inch plastic ring. On the other side is an adjustable knot that lets you control the length of the rope to get more or less slack in there, depending on how you're using it. And then you're ready to go. The anchor line would come through here and then tie off onto the zigzag cleat inside the boat. And then you can slide that all the way up to the bow or all the way back to the stern. Or anywhere in between. And that allows you to control the position of your boat in the water if there's wind or current so you can face one direction or the other. Another way to use the anchor trawl is with a stakeout pole. The pole can go right through the ring and into the mud to hold your boat in place and then you can adjust the trolley to reposition your boat in the water. Uh, also serves some other nice purposes. You can remove this, pull the ring tight to one end and then you have a leash. You can tie that onto your belt if you're going to be wade fishing, wrap it around a tree to hold your boat if you're going to get out of the water. So that's a nice little deal. Now when you're not using the anchor or the trolley, you can put it right there, position it right over the paddle holder, take the paddle holder up and over, and that holds it in place and keeps it from flapping around in the wind when you're traveling.